The community in Hillsborough County reeling after a beloved rec center there is destroyed by flames. Yeah, this fire is a devastating blow to families who use the center for child care and other activities. News Channel 8's Mary McGuire joins us now live from the Winston Park Rec Center. It's just off Palm River Road in the Claire Mel area. Mary, and you've been there all morning. You've been speaking to people in the neighborhood. How are they dealing with this? Well, they are absolutely devastated and heartbroken. Many of them came to this scene with tears in their eyes. This was so much more than just a rec center to them. This really was a pillar of hope in this community, and now it's a total loss. Fire crews worked for hours this morning to put the flames out that were burning up to 30 feet in the air at some points. Back in March, the Vinnick Family Foundation announced they were donating $2.5 million to renovate this rec center, turning it over to the Boys and Girls Clubs in Tampa Bay. That was the largest individual gift in the club's 90-year history. Many members of the community were eagerly awaiting the opening of the newly renovated rec center. The kids is what we're thinking of, the after-schoolers, uh, the teenagers that come and play, the adults that come and play basketball as well. To keep the community together and out of trouble, that was our hope. That was our hope. And to see it like this, it's emotional. Now, this rec center was supposed to open up back within the next couple of months. In all, it took 35 firefighters and two aerial ladder trucks to get this fire under control. Back here live in Hillsborough County, you can see that the fire investigators are on scene right now. They're working to determine what caused this fire. If there is any new good news that came out of all of this is that there was no injuries. This rec center was actually closed during renovations, so no one was here at the time of the fire. And we're also told that no firefighters sustained any injuries while they were putting this out, Gene. Still devastating for that community. Mary McGuire reporting live. Thank you.